Well, today, a Senla robotics team finished their first wheelchair prototype for a small puppy without her two front legs. Colin Vedros takes a closer look at one puppy's journey from hopping to walking. Here's the camera. You may recognize Rue. She's the pup who was named Kangaroo after losing her front two legs at birth. She was brought to the heart of Louisiana Humane Society late last year for adoption and is now going from hopping around to now finding her balance. <laughs> Rue is slowly learning how to move with her first wheelchair prototype, courtesy of the Steel Eagles robotics team at Holy Savior Menard Central High School. Uh, that is one of our favorite things about robotics is being able to go out into the community and do things that are actually helpful to the community, things that people might not think that robotics is involved with. Back in October of last year, the Steel Eagles were tasked with building a wheelchair for Rue. Now... Rue's new wheels are helping to improve her quality of life. Uh, seeing the kids, their brains work and trying to figure things out and learning to see live things move and adjust and kind of grow and go through that process. The team created its first wheelchair prototype from a 3D printer designed specifically to help Rue go mobile. But Rue has already outgrown the first prototype, which is a good problem for the Steel Team Eagles to have. It's kind of an evolving process until Rue reaches her full size. Um, we're going to continue to adjust and alter and um, get it to be exactly what she needs it to be. Um, for such a small dog, it's uh, she's really grown over the last uh, six weeks that we've been working with her, so it's that's a lot of fun to see. She loved the carpet. Yeah, the carpet, she did. Oh. She's getting more comfortable in it, starting to really become a lot more mobile. Um, she was a little bit scared at first, you know. We had a few little tip-overs, made some adjustments, but it, it's just, it's literally changed her life. And the way that she's able to move, become mobile, um, not worrying about getting sores or breakdowns from constantly, you know, being on the ground. And while helping the small pup definitely tugs at the heartstrings, this wasn't just a passion project. The team's coach says being able to provide community service in Senla is actually one of the keystones of robotics. <laughs> in Alexandria, Colin Vidros, News Channel 5, your local station.